hey guys so welcome back so in this uh, video I'm going to show you that how to delete user in office 365 so if you have a global admin so you can delete a user and stop paying for their license and uh, all the other things so first of all we need to log on to office 365 as a admin so if you are a admin you will give uh, you will see this uh, admin tile so <clears throat> if you have admin access then you can uh, click on users active users so in this video I'm going to delete this user so click on more items delete users so when you delete the user are you sure you want to delete admin user you can restore deleted user and recover their data except for calendar and uh, LES up to 30 days so click on delete so now user is deleted so another thing I'm going to show you that if you delete another users so now you uh, see uh, the, uh, the uh, earlier user I deleted multiple times so that that time I didn't get these options so now I'm going to uh, delete another user so you can restore deleted user data user and their data except calendar and items and LES for 30 days their data on their connected device will be removed as well as following office 365 license will be unassigned and available for other users so we don't have any other email alias so it's showing not mailbox delegation no mailbox permission give another user to access onedrive so this user don't have any like a onedrive content or if i want i can give permission to another user to access this user email so when i click on this box uh, select the user and set email options so if i click on this option so it's asking me whom I'm going to give the email access for example I'm going to give access to this user so select the user click next use the current display name on the shared mailbox click next automatically reply on so this like a, if you want you can type your uh, decent message here so <coughs> this is an automated reply for convenience this email has been automatically forward to Nishan so email only people inside your organization so if you want if you want you can select both in like a in more or uh, inside or outside organization so if you want you can select the reply with different users so here you can see that uh, you might want to send automatically reply to people to let them know who to contact in the future or other information you might want to share we have provided a template that you can modify to suit uh, suit your needs and you can write on your message so click next so Raman does not have any email address so click finish so assign and convert so it's now is converting to shared mailbox so just wait so now it's updating shared mailbox updating automatically replies sending as unassigning license so that's it so converted and uh, granted to Nishant automatically reply have been turned and shared this as a click ok so let's see will move to another office 365 let's see what message Nishant received
so now you can see the <coughs> message received that uh, hi nishan the admin of your team has added you to the philon chain mailbox so uh, raman this and domain name this is the message so send reply all the things add shared mailbox address on your computer browser mail app and write to the shared mailbox so i'll show you i'll show you in another video how we can add like a shared mailbox in your mailbox so thanks for watching this video have a great day